Hello, Columbia, and welcome to this week's episode. I'm David Greisman, here with Milton Matthews, the President and CEO of Columbia Association. Our guest this week is Liz Henry, Director of Columbia Arts Center. Liz, thank you for coming in. Thank you, David. I know that there's an exhibit now open at the Art Center? Yes, we're very excited to have a wonderful painting exhibition called H2O, Experimental Watercolor, and it's featuring uh, watercolor artists th in the Baltimore area and New York. So we're very excited to bring this to the local area. Okay, so people can come in and check out this exhibit uh, at the Art Center, which is in the Long Reach Village Center. But you also have some workshops going on right now as well. We do. During the winter and into spring, we have some one-day workshops, sampling workshops that we think give people a chance to experiment with, with a, a particular art that they might like. And they include one-stroke paintings, entangled drawing, uh, floral design. Liz, what struck you about this particular exhibit, the H2O exhibit, that wants you to bring it to the Art Center? Well, we believe that uh, one of the things we'd love to do is showcase local artists, and we reached out to a very strong local artist, Christine Neal, and she then curated for us a wonderful show to bring artists from other places, including New York, to our local venue, and we think this gives an opportunity to all ages to explore and view different types of painting. Looking a little bit farther ahead, I know that you all do special activities when school is out, and I know spring break is coming up. What do you all do for youth and teens? Well, it's a wonderful week at the Art Center. We offer schools out, and that's targeted at uh, elementary and middle schoolers, and we have a visiting artist program. So during the week, we have some thematic uh, projects that the kids do while they're off from school. And what other events and programs do you have coming up? Well, we're real excited. In um, March, we have our faculty student show coming up. And that's a wonderful venue to see what our teachers create and what our students are creating. And then we have our Blossoms of Hope show in April. And it is with Howard County Tourism. Uh, we love being a part of this show because the proceeds benefit the Claudia Mayer Tina Broccolina Cancer Resource Center. Okay. Liz, thank you very much for coming in today. Thank you very much, David. Thank you, Milton. Columbia, thank you.